Hey Leo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. If this re uh, reading resonates for you, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings if you're interested. Um... Leo, I'm available for personal love readings. You can get all the details in the description box. I also have an Etsy shop where I sell my decks. Okay, I'm going to start off today with the Illumination Oracle deck. All these decks can be found um, on my Etsy shop, the ones that have been created by me. Okay, so let's jump right in. Let's see what messages pop out for you guys. Let's get some shuffles in here. Leo... Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages do you want us to know for Leo? Messages for Leo. Okay. Um, we have the dream state energy, okay? So someone here could be dreaming about you, fantasizing. I'm getting living, um, <laughs> not not in reality, right? There's someone who's definitely dreaming, fantasizing, um, wishing okay wanting you desiring you i'm getting a six of cups energy with this energy okay i'm getting a a water sign perhaps cancer pisces scorpio someone is in this dreamy state thinking about the good times the memories of the past past experience times together okay we also have leap of faith so someone here may be wanting to take action toward you okay this is someone who wants to reach out to you right now leo uh full energy being aries that you're dealing with someone is wanting to take that first step reaching out to you maybe wanting to communicate may have something to say but i almost get in the sense that they're hesitant because that dreamy state is saying that they're thinking and wishing about all these wonderful things being in your energy um touching you holding you but it's almost like they're <laughs> it's almost like it's just in their head it's like they, they're they're really struggling on making this come a reality, okay? So let's see. Let's get some more clarity for you guys. You may be a distance apart from someone. Maybe you uh, recently disconnected from them, okay? And they're wanting to take action towards you, but not really sure how. Yeah, the Eight of Wands in reverse. So someone has stopped reaching out. Uh, this this is a lack of communication, a lack of movement, okay? There's been no progress. Something here may have stopped or came to an end abruptly with the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is just a lack of movement altogether in this connection. The Hermit is here with the Seven of Wands in reverse. I'm getting the energy of someone being exhausted. It's like I'm tired of fighting for this connection when you're not fighting for it enough. So Leo, you may be taking a break from someone. This could be a Virgo. You may be taking a break because you feel like you've been working too hard for it. Maybe you're the only person working for it, okay? Because the Seven of Wands is like you've been fighting for what you want. You've been really wanting to push forward with something, protect the connection. But it's almost like the energy of giving up now. The Seven of Wands in verse, feeling like, you know what? I need a break. I need time to myself. Some of you guys, you're withdrawn from this person, which is why there's no communication, but there's feelings, right? There's, there's still that dreamy state energy. So give me the pe uh, recent past here for Leo. The world in reverse. The death in the chariot in reverse. Yeah. Something stopped moving very, very abruptly. It could have happened like overnight. Maybe you found out something um, and it happened like just like that. Someone cut off the other person. Someone may have stopped desiring this connection, may have saw that. It just wasn't going to work out in the long term. I feel like someone lost the vision for the future. Okay, so Leo, I'm getting the energy of something here came to an end because someone uh, didn't see that this was something worth pursuing or they felt like they couldn't do it. They, could, they couldn't be that person that you needed them to be. So they stopped trying and they stopped desiring and putting action into this connection. The world in verse is indicating something here um, you may have not seen coming. It may have been unexpected. And it was almost out of your control, right? You can't control this person. You can't make them do something that you want them to do. So the world of verse is indicating that there, there's some kind of faded event here, but something could have happened all of a sudden, very abruptly, you didn't see happening. Um, the death is speaking about endings, but endings bring forth beginnings, right? So let's see what's on your energy. Some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio or Cancer. 
We have the Five of Swords, the Moon in Reverse, and the Sun in Reverse. We'll be done with the Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Leo. Uh, I feel, <laughs> it could be another Leo. Leo, I feel someone here has kept you in the dark. And that could be the reason why you're keeping this person in the dark now. It could be the reason why you're turned your back toward them. I feel like there's been a lot of lies and you're getting sick of this person's lies. I feel like they've been telling a lot of telling you a lot of things that just don't make sense anymore. And the moon verse is that there's something coming out that you may be finding truth. You may be finding something out. There's something that could be revealed with the moon in a verse, something that they've been keeping from you for a really long time. And I feel like something that you've been wanting to know, may, it may explain why something stopped working. We're going to find out what's being revealed. The Sun of Earth is telling me you're not a happy camper, Leo. You're not happy with where things are, where things stand between you and a person. This is not what you envisioned, okay? Um, and, and hence why the Five of Swords is here. You're in conflict about what has happened. You're feeling defeated. So let's see what's going on with your person's energy. The Four of Swords. The Three of Swords in reverse. The Strength, Leo Energy, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So what's for certain is that, Leo, this person is very much thinking about you. Um, you're coming up in their energy, which is speaking that you're, you're definitely on this person's mind. And they're struggling. They're trying to get through this. This could be a really difficult time for this person as well. I see this person has... Um, been hurt as well you know maybe they cause hurt but they're feeling some kind of hurt or pain emotional pain as well from some kind of situation with you maybe you left and they're feeling some kind of uh loss okay this could be the energy of grieving grieving the loss of you and feeling disappointed in their own actions right the three of swords could be a betrayal it could be um a separation okay that they're going through with you and they're feeling left out in the cold there's the energy of feeling um disappointed and in this place of lack abandoned by you i think this person misses you a great deal and they don't know what to do with themselves <laughs> the four of swords is that they're in conflict we have the heart and the string which is indicating that they have a lot of feelings for you and they're trying to come to terms with it i get the sense this person is really um in deep conflict and feeling really really much uh very much in their feelings and needing space. This person is needing space because we have the Hermit and the Four of Swords. So that's screaming, isolation, withdrawal. Um, I need time to think about this. I don't know what to say to you. Give me some time. But I think this is someone who's going within, trying to come to terms with something so that they can get out of the cold with you. Because that is their intention. To get out of this place of cold, to be um, closer to you. The outcome is the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords, and the Verse of the Nine of Cups. So Leo, I get the sense it's still a, a lot of miscommunication or no communication with this person. I feel communication still has a long uh, way to go. There's still work that needs to be done in this department. The High Priestess, I feel, Leo, this could be you tapping into your spirituality. Maybe there's something that you're having to really think about. Use your intuition. Get guidance from the universe on this matter. I feel, Leo, what's coming in for you is your, your happiness, okay? You're getting your happiness back, whatever that may look like. If this person has stolen your happiness with the sun and verse, you're finally getting it back. You're getting some kind of wish fulfillment, okay? All right, let's get some clarity. Uh, Leo, I'm going to clarify your reading and get you as many messages as we can. If this reading resonates, I encourage you to like, to comment, and subscribe. Give me clarity on this dream state. What is this person dreaming about in this dream state? Oh, the two of cups. Okay. So they're dreaming about you. They're dreaming about the two of cups with you. How wonderful it was when you guys were um, together. When you guys, you know, were um, in alignment with each other. Where there was an emotional connection. You know, this person was open to it. They, You were open to it. This person is dreaming about, about the, the past with you. How wonderful it was when things were good. Now, what is this leap of faith? The leap of faith energy? Three of Wands and versus person's waiting. They're waiting um, for the right opportunity to take that leap of faith. They're waiting for the right time to move forward with you because they feel right now it isn't the right time. I feel like this person feels like you've given up on them with the Three of Wands and verse. You're no longer waiting for them to take action towards you. Why is this Eight of Wands in reverse? This person is not communicating. Why is this Eight of Wands in reverse? 
because this is person is um there's the energy of feeling really like they've gone through a lot just like you and they're feeling exhausted there's the energy of exhaustion with this with this uh nine of wands energy but still having not given up okay they have not given up but there's the energy of oh, i need a break right <laughs> the hermit i'm getting energy i need a break why is this hermit here the lovers and the queen of pentacles in reverse taurus virgo capricorn i feel like this person is trying to make a decision maybe about you in this earth sign could be a gemini as well someone is going within to try to figure out what they want maybe they are holding on to some kind of codependent connection from the past maybe there's someone they had uh strong ties with or you know again share assets share money with share child with maybe they live together there's something about them moving away from that now some of you guys leo this is someone who really has this connection with you but they didn't want a commitment and they're thinking about it now i'm getting that nine of wands being you know they don't they didn't want to give up on you but there's something about commitment that made them feel like i can't do it this is too much I, you know maybe they look at commitment in a negative light but this is someone the reason why they may have pulled back is because they weren't ready for that next step of commitment okay they didn't see you as someone they wanted to commit to or um they just didn't want commitment in general okay but there was a really strong connection and there's no denying that with the lover's card. And that is why your person is revisiting a decision. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, seven of cups person may have not been ready to fight for this connection because they may have been very confused about what they wanted. This is someone here whose feelings were up in the air. There was a lot of illusions regarding what they could take on at the time. And so they're becoming more clear that they do want this strong connection, right? The two of cups are dreaming about this, this energy, this beautiful reunion that they may want with you, trying to make a decision. Now, give me the past energy. Why is the death card here? The Scorpio you're dealing with. Two of wands in reverse with the high priestess. Someone in the past was very secretive. I'm getting the energy of a secret lover, um, secret keeper. Okay, you could have been dealing with someone who kept secrets, who had a secret lover they were dealing with, right? Piscean energy. I feel, I feel like there's someone here that this person was dealing with on the low. They didn't tell you because I see this person was very indecisive. Two wands can be indicating of two people, two paths. And the reason why they were um, confused and, you know, not sure which way to go was because they were holding on to someone else. This person wasn't entirely focused. And so something here came to an end. Um, but before that, it stopped moving and you question what happened. You know, why are you no longer desiring me? Why is the chariot here? The emperor and the four pentacles. Yeah, this person here, I feel like although they really saw movement with you, the emperor, they really wanted to have you in their life. Maybe they, they sought commitment with you, family, all those things with the emperor energy. They wanted to take charge of this connection and move things forward with you. They really were serious about you, but there was definitely was a guarded energy. And I feel like this guardedness came from them dealing with someone else. Maybe someone else that hurt them, that took away from them, their ability to love, may have taken their money, okay? May have had a bad experience with this person. I feel like this person's very guarded. And I also feel like this person may have been keeping other people in their life or affiliated with other people romantic interests because they weren't ready to move move forward in a serious commitment just yet because of their uh, past wounds, trauma that they've dealt with. So it's almost like they kept superficial comments up. Uh, superficial connections okay in their life even though they wanted more okay the world and verse could be indicating of um things that chapters or cycles they haven't fully closed yet things they haven't healed from and it kind of it kind of comes back and resurfaces back into their relationship so i feel like this person definitely was very guarded they were holding back they had secrets they weren't ready to really move things forward even though they really saw you with the emperor as someone that they wanted family home partnership with you didn't understand it, Leo. The Five of Swords. You did. You, you couldn't make sense of it. Five of Swords. The Death card. Yeah, you, you couldn't make sense of this ending. This person broke your heart. Three of Swords with the Death card. The Five of Swords speaks about conflict. It speaks about, um, you know, going with it, fighting some kind of internal challenge here. And, you know, this is something that came to an end and it really, really broke you into pieces with the Three of Swords. You may have felt this person betrayed you. They blindsided you. They left you for someone else. Why is the Moon card here? There's something that is coming out, being revealed. The Wheel of Fortune, the Magician. There's something that's being revealed as to why this person wasn't able to manifest at the time with you. Why something here didn't move forward the way that you wanted it to. 
You may be finding out everything about this person's dark past, okay? With the magician reverse, I almost feel like this person has been toyed with in the past. They've been played. Um, and it kept them from being able to manifest this love with you. Um, coming together and surrendering, right? The wheel in reverse is saying, you know what? I, I can't do this. I'm not ready. Someone always had you know, put the brakes on this connection. So with this magician of earth, it could be a Gemini you're dealing with. I feel that Leo, this is someone who just had some issues. They, they weren't able to really make things work at the time. There could be something about timing and you're finding out all of this right now, Leo. A lot of you guys are finding out what kept this person from moving forward with you. There was a lot of things you didn't know with the sun in reverse. Things that um, this person kept from you, five of pentacles. And it made you feel distant. It made you feel like as if you were unworthy. Maybe this person made you feel feel like you know the fact that they were guarded it made you feel as if maybe the connection isn't as strong as you thought right you you questioned if this connection was really as strong as you thought it was right and so the five of pentacles this person may have pushed you away they may have stopped reaching out to you you may have found yourself um by by yourself many nights out of the week right whereas before this person was always with you so it made you feel um pushed away pushed to a side as if you didn't mean anything to this person but the truth is that this person's feeling the same way five of pentacles is in your energy it's in their energy you both are feeling the same exact way let me see what we can find out with this Four of Swords. This person is doing a lot of deep thinking. They're in conflict about something that may have happened. They broke your heart, but they're also heartbroken as well. The moon in the verse, yeah. Queen of Cups came on the verse. So this person definitely has some issues regarding the ability to love. This is someone who could have dealt with the Queen of Cups energy. Someone that was very vindictive or um, very jealous, okay? May have hurt them, okay? May have um, done some things, with, uh, you know... I'm just getting someone who, is, who has not been too kind to them, may have manipulated them emotionally in the past. There's a lot of things that are coming to the surface or that is being revealed that could explain why this person has pushed you away, Leo. And the moon reverse is, is telling me that there could be a lot of fears and insecurities about loving, okay? About opening up their heart to love, loving another soul again. There could be a lot of fears about that. And that's why this person is needing space. They need time to think about this connection to maybe even recover and heal why is this three of swords here they're definitely healing from something yeah they need time page of wands in reverse um they're holding back from you with, with this page of wands in reverse. they're not really willing to reach out or send you a message and i think it's really because they know they're not ready leo the temperance is speaking about time patience doing things in moderation not jumping into something too quickly okay don't rush it, you know, it's to be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. I feel like this person needs time to heal, to recover from something that has been really difficult. And this could be something from their past, a past connection, a past ex, okay? But Leo, you're definitely on their mind. We have your energy here. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Look at this. Leap of Faith, the Fool card. We just had Leap of Faith. This person is waiting for the right time. Leap of Faith came out with three wands in reverse. They don't want to see you go, Leo, but there's something about this person waiting for the right moment, waiting for the right time to reach out, to have this new beginning, the full card, to take the leap of faith. It's going to require them to be courageous, to make this big, bold decision. And we also have the energy of this person in this Nine of Swords energy, but releasing this Nine of Swords, right? Overthinking, sleepless nights, anxieties, worries. They're getting out of that energy to finally come to you, to take some action, move forward with this full energy. All right, let's see in terms of the outcome. The High Priestess is clarified by the Two Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Wands in reverse. A lot of you guys, there's something about you tapping into your intuition. A lot of you guys, you know this person's coming back, okay? There's something here where you're going back and forth. You're having to drop that, okay? The Two Pentacles in reverse is like, there's something that you're having to free yourself from, let go, drop entirely, and overcome a really difficult situation, a ten of wands reverse burdens, letting go of some kind of burden because it's not your burden to carry. I even I feel like it's your person's burden, okay, not yours. I feel like even though the communication isn't coming in right just yet, um, there's something about you finding your happiness. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands. Give me a clarity on the Knight of Wands. That's your energy, Leo. 
Eight of Swords in verse. A lot of you guys, you were stressing about this person dealing with someone else. Maybe you thought this person has moved on to another person. And that's not the case. I think a lot of you guys are finding out the truth. And that is relieving you from some kind of stress of thinking this person didn't want you and they wanted someone else. If you had the indication thinking that, oh, this person was in love or they left me for some other third party, I feel like you guys are finding out the truth that this person has never stopped desiring you, Leo. There, there, there's an energy of you finally letting go of something and moving forward, letting go of anxieties and worries and stress and finding your own happiness, even if you don't get the entire truth from this person, Leo, okay? So that is the energy. I, I do want to just... Reiterate that, yes, your person is definitely dreaming about you, Leo. They're definitely in this dream state energy, thinking about this two of cups, waiting for the right time to take this leap of faith towards you, okay? So that is what I'm seeing. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I wish you the best. Take care.